Hello everybody. In this video, we shall learn about ideal gas equation and its different forms. It has been observed through experiments that at low densities, the pressure, volume and temperature behavior of gases can be closely given by ideal gas equation. P into V being equal to N R bar into T, where P is the pressure of gas in Newton per meter square or Pascal. V is the volume of gas in meter cube, T is the temperature of gas in Kelvin, N denotes the number of kilomoles in the gas. The number of kilomoles in the gas is defined as the mass of the gas in kilogram divided by the molecular weight of the gas. And the universal gas constant R bar has a value of 8314.5 joule per kilomole Kelvin. The ideal gas equation in this form may not be useful in many of the practical situations where number of kilomoles is not known due to the mass of gas being not known or volume not being constant. So the ideal gas equation can be transformed in various forms to make it useful for special situations. These different forms of ideal gas equation do not actually change the equation but they make the handling of different variables quite easy. Now we start with the original form of the ideal gas equation. PV is equal to nRT and we put the value of n, the number of kilomoles in the original equation and adjust a little bit and get an equation PV is equal to m into R bar divided by capital M, the molecular weight of the gas into T. And here we define a new variable R which is equal to R bar by M, the molecular weight. And this is called gas constant for a specific gas. The gas which we are using, it changes with the gas. And the resulting equation is PV is equal to MRT. In this equation, if we have got a volume, pressure and temperature known of the gas, we can easily get the mass contained or the mass of the gas. The values of specific gas constant for some of common gases are tabulated in this table. So we can notice that the lower the molecular weight of the gas, the higher the value of gas constant. We continue working with the equation PV is equal to MRT and transfer the volume V on the right hand side of the equation. So we get P is equal to m by v into rt and noting that m by v denotes the density of the gas the pressure can be given as p is equal to rho rt where rho is the density of gas r is the specific gas constant it is to be noted that it is not universal gas constant but a specific gas constant is specific for the gas under consideration so we again consider the equation PV is equal to MRT but this time we transfer the mass of the gas M from right hand side to left hand side and get an equation P into V by M is equal to RT. V by M is called specific volume and denoted by small v. It shows the volume per unit mass of the gas. So the final equation we get P into small v is equal to RT. Now to summarize ideal gas equation in its various forms, we have got PV is equal to NRT where capital V shows the absolute volume in meter cube. Then we transform it to a, another form PV is equal to MRT where M shows the mass of the gas and R shows the specific gas constant which varies from gas to gas. Again we can transform this equation in the form P is equal to rho RT where rho is the density of the gas or we can transform it in the form P into small v is equal to RT where small v is the specific volume of the gas. So that's all for today's video. Keep watching for more easy derivations in thermodynamics and compressible flows.